Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go hit that button right now and subscribe. If you like this video, please like it, leave a comment, and if you really like it and you feel like this benefits from you, please share it as well. So I'm going to help you today have an understanding of how to count times integers, odd and all the weird ones in the books. You are going to literally, guys, be just mind blown about how easy it is to count time signatures once I show you this concept. When I learned this concept, I was like, are you serious? Like, what? That, like, I, can, I feel like after this, you should be able to count anything and everything. Doesn't matter what time signature it is, okay? So, pay attention. Because you're going to want to know this, especially if you're a musician. But it doesn't matter if you're a drummer, a guitarist. It doesn't matter. If you are in music, you're going to want to learn this. Learning how to read time signatures effectively is going to help you be able to understand and have the approach and skill to be able to play really anything when it comes to uh, performing, okay? So we all have seen, let's just start out with 4-4. Four, four. We all have seen, you know, this right here. And then I don't know, I don't know, I was in college and, you know, we talk about how, you know, how many beats and then value, right? Value of the beat. Okay, I get that, but most of the time that's still like kind of confusing a little bit there, right? So let me just break this down for you, okay? Let me just break this down for you. The bottom number is not as important as the, as the, sorry, the bottom number is the most important part of this, okay? So, the top number, let's say four, the top number literally just means how many beats you're counting to. So, in this case, four. So, count, count to. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we know that if it was, if the beat was, <clears throat> Excuse me. If the beat was seven, we know to count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, we know that. So no matter what, guys, no matter what your time signature you're reading, the top number just means count to. If it's, if it's 11, count to 11. If it's 12, count to 12. Okay? Literally, that's all that means. It just means the amount of number as high as you should count, the number that you should count to. Let's go back to four. Now, the bottom number. Here's where everybody gets confused, okay? This bottom number right here. This is where everybody gets confused. And here is how easy this is, okay? I want you to think about this next time you're looking at measures. If you see a four, okay? If you see a four, I want you to count in quarter notes. If you see an eight... I want you to count in eighth notes. Say you see a 16. I want you to count in 16th notes. Now, we all know that a 16th note is going to be kind of like this. One, E, and, duh. Right? An eighth note is one, and. Quarter note, one. However, if we look at this bottom number and it says four, we need to count to four in a quarter note, so it would be one, two, three, four. But say now it is four, eight. We're not going to count one and. We're going to count this as one, two. So technically it would be like this. One, two, three, four. 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 And now we're counting in four, eight. If we're counting in three... If we have three up here, there's an eight on the bottom. Oh, now we're counting in eighth notes just to three. Count in eighth notes to three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If it says a 16, count to three in 16th notes. One, two, three. 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 Okay? It doesn't matter. If it's, if you see this right here, five over 16, okay, we know to count to five in 16th notes. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, if it's just eight, 
Now we count those as eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Literally, this right here is more important than this. If someone says, hey, let's play this in five. We're like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Play this in five. Five what? I need to know the speed. I need to know if I need to count that. Quarter notes, eighth notes, half notes, sixteenth notes. I need to know. So, guys, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, top number equals number to count to. Okay? Bottom equals essentially the subdivision, the tempo. Okay? So, quarter note, four equals quarter. Eighth equals eighth note. Sixteen equals sixteenth note. If you guys have ever learned reading time signatures this way, comment below and let me know. If you haven't and you feel like you benefited from this little short, little quick lesson, comment below. If you did not like this lesson, comment below. If you love the lesson, comment below. I need to know, guys, what you feel and how you feel about these lessons because that, that I'm going to start doing and posting, okay? I really want to invest in you as a musician, okay? So, guys, start implementing this stuff when you are working on time signatures and you'll be able to play absolutely anything. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this suit, if, you've, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, share it. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a good day.